What what are some uh, misconceptions around whiskey that you are encountering in your uh, whiskey? That it's not going to taste good, <laughs> um, or that like peated whiskey is disgusting, or sherry peated whiskey. What is what is peated whiskey? So they use this peat. It's like a I don't explain. It's almost like a mud. It's like squares, but it like when you burn it, it gives off a flavor. Okay. And that flavor to the whiskey adds like um. There's no better way of saying it. Like almost like if you ran in socks in a field and your socks got wet, it's mm. it's a very interesting water that you would be drinking. That to me is peat. <laughs> I see. You know, and I don't want to say it's dirty socks, but it's peat. It's just different. Yeah, yeah. It's not sherry, um, yeah, yeah. which is sweet and yummy. Peat is more like whoa, that's crazy. And I never used to like it, but then I realized that all these um, these blends I've been drinking forever all are peated. So now I've mm. started being going. So I think the misconception that if you know, I wouldn't recommend if you've never drank scotch to go with a heavily peated. I recommend you go with something um, more sherry, just to yeah. get your palate in. Um, and then bourbons are a whole different game. Like I like rye, but rye are spicy. Yeah. American bourbon is more sweet. American rye is more spicy. I like the spicy one. So if you've never drank bourbon whiskey, I wouldn't be like, oh, you should go try a rye. I'd be like, no, I'll just do like a, a regular bourbon whiskey and, and see how that tastes for you. Yeah. So I think the misconception is most of the time I'm not going to like it because they've had a bad experience. If you didn't like something and you picked up a peated whiskey, you'd be like, that is disgusting. Never again am I going to try it. But you didn't try all the different scotches. If you picked up an American rye, perhaps, and you're like, oh, no, that's too much. You know, so it, it, it's just re-educating. Don't give up, I think, is the most common, you know. And then there's some people that just don't like it, and that's okay, too. Of course, of course. Yeah, I've, I've met a lot of uh, people who had this situation that they tried one very uh, weird or cheaper Uh, whiskey that they had a bad experience with and then they say that I don't like whiskey and it is it's the same with wine and with everything so you have to be open-minded well like for me just think about it, like I never tried Bordeaux until two years ago so I was just like oh all the wine hurts me I can't drink any wine <laughs> you know it's just, it, yeah. it's it, it's a personal thing if you if you're willing to try try if not listen I think that the education at bars is way higher now So I think if you walk in and say, hey, I had a bad experience, the bartender will be like, try this. But also remember, it's very high alcohol. And high alcohol is not for everybody. It really is. Yeah. And and if that's not your thing, then whiskey is just not going to be your thing. But then I would recommend if you really want whiskey, put it on ice. But listen, there's a million other drinks you can drink. Don't worry. You know, like, go try something else. You don't have to love whiskey. Of course, of course. Thanks for watching this video. You can watch the full podcast episode by clicking here or watch another interesting video by clicking here. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section and see you in the next one.